uh, when is the first uh, news conference with uh, Jim Knowles? Any date yet? No, uh, we have not uh, heard or seen any kind of indication of that yet. There was some talk that maybe his first day at Ohio State would not actually be until tomorrow, January the 6th. So I think that uh, that is something that could be in the offing uh, sooner rather than later. I would think within the next week that would probably happen. But I think it could also be a case where Ryan Day and Jim Knowles want to have time to sit down with the four remaining defensive assistants, which I lap the special teams assistant, Parker Fleming, in with Al Washington, the linebackers coach, Kerry Combs, the outgoing coordinator, who's been a, a secondary coach, and um, Al Washington, linebackers, Parker Fleming, Kerry Combs, and Larry Johnson, the defensive line coach, may want to sit down with them and chart out a plan as to who of that group uh, is going to be retained before they go public with any grandiose ideas or plans. It could be a case where the five of them come together and uh, make one group appearance and for, you know, God and country and say, we're, we're all in this together. Let's go win it all next year with these five guys. And, you know, we don't know on the outside. We don't know. What we don't know is how does Ryan Day view the four remaining defensive assistants as recruiters, developers, team players, um, and everything else that goes with it uh, in terms of schematics. We, we, we just don't know. I mean, he's never going to tell you that assessment, his own personal assessment of these people. Jim Knowles is walking into the situation sight unseen. He may have a hotshot defensive backs coach that he wants to bring with him from Oklahoma State or somebody he worked with at Duke or Cornell or – Somebody, somebody knows, somebody's brother, cousin, uncle, son, I don't know, that's been recommended to him, somebody that he knows and appreciates. So we don't know how it's going to be structured for 2022 other than he's the coordinator. I am of the assumption and belief. Now, there are people who say that Larry Johnson is going to retire. There are people who have said that. I don't necessarily subscribe to that theory because I think he's been actively involved in recruiting uh, – uh, Omari Abor, the defensive end that just committed uh, three days ago or four days ago, whenever that was. I think he's been actively involved in that. And that kid specifically mentioned wanting to play for Larry Johnson. So he's not been told that Larry Johnson is done. And so until we get that, I don't know. I think Al Washington, the linebackers coach, gets some rope. We've talked about this on the show for, for weeks, that the linebacker play hasn't been what everyone was hoping it would be. But, again, the material was not what is Ohio State standard. In any way, shape, or form, the Bill Davis era, the recruiting, and everything else that they had at linebacker was so substandard. Uh, you know, not even Jerome Baker or Raquan McMillan are, were walking through that door, okay? And, and, you know, those guys were good players compared to Ryan Shazier and, you know, X and X and X and Hawk and Lauren Itis and, you know, Boom, boom, boom. The 15 All-Americans who were there the 15 years prior. So they've been at a, a, a lower level of linebacker play. He helped recruit Gabe Powers, C.J. Hicks, and probably had a hand in Sonny Styles, who's going to have to play, I presume, bullet, safety, outside linebacker, whatever, at the college level. I think Ryan Day is going to give him a little bit of rope to coach those guys for one year and bring them along. Plus, you got to like with a year of development, where are Eichenberg, Stover, Chambers, and Cody Simon going to be eight months from now, as opposed to how they all played pretty well in the Rose Bowl? So, well, Simon didn't play because he was hurt. But um, so I think he gets a pass. Parker Fleming, they don't need to free a spot because Matt Barnes left, you know. And if Ryan Day liked the work he did on special teams, the kickoff return in the Rose Bowl, notwithstanding, and, and I didn't see Parker Fleming flailing and missing and flailing and missing uh, like the seven Buckeyes who missed on Britton Covey, who everyone knew was a great return man. Um, it wasn't on him. So that leaves Kerry Combs, and that's an interesting one. Does he want to be part of the future? Is he going to be an impediment? Is he – 
seems like a company guy, making a ton of money, making a ton of money. I mean, where are you going to find another job making that much money? You know, so if they keep him anywhere close to that salary as a co-coordinator or secondary coach, I think it'd be a hard thing for him to turn down sticking around. So a lot of dynamics there, Sue. We need to, we need, I think they need time with one another to feel each other out. And Jim Knowles needs to figure out who can I put a winning defense on the field with and who is not part of the plan. Anything else on that, Tony? Sorry, I was just uh, <laughs> looking at some breaking news. Um, but uh, the yeah, I, I would expect – I still expect more changes on the defensive staff. And in terms of when – we have gone to uh, until signing day before talking to new coaches before. So it wouldn't surprise me if that happens because coaches are also out recruiting and that's an easy excuse for not being able to talk to them. Well, they're not even here right now. They're not even in the city, not even in the state. And so uh wouldn't surprise me if that's just something that waits until signing day because there is still going to be stuff being settled. And uh, I I'll almost feel like the longer you go, the better the answers will be in terms of talking about personnel, talking about the defense, talking about the coaches, because the, it's I, and I said this on my own podcast, Steve, you'll, you'll understand when we talk to the, the quarterbacks and the quarterback coach on the first day of practice and they all just say, well, it's too early to know anything at this point. Those are the, some of the answers you're going to get from Jim Knowles if we talk to him this week. It's, well, you know, I don't know that yet. I don't know who we have. I don't know this. I don't know that. Give him another month and he'll have more answers, I think. And will he be open with those answers? That's one of the things we all discover on our own when we try to talk to coaches and get stuff out of them. But uh, I wouldn't, I, I'm not expecting anything, but um, in terms of immediate because of the recruiting stuff and because there's been precedent set that sometimes we just wait until signing day. And uh, so that's, that's where I am, but nothing would shock me right now because, well, we have an afternoon, so let's do it now and, and just get it out of the way. But really what can, I mean, all of the questions, you know, there's going to be so many questions about who, who else is leaving, who else is staying. And if they can answer those questions, then get it out of the way. If they can't, just put it off. 